ancient China was ruled by powerful emperors. Surrounded by luxury and wealth, they lived a life very different from ordinary people. They were at the top of the social structure and held in high regard. They performed important rituals and maintained social order. And their word was law. The emperor owned all the land in China, giving great areas of it to the nobility. The nobles then rented it to the peasant farmers. Only his closest officials were allowed to speak to him. On the rare occasion an ordinary person was in the emperor's presence, they had to kowtow, kneel down on all fours and touch their head to the ground. Yet, like some world leaders today, they were in constant fear of assassination by those wishing to overthrow them and gain power. On the rare occasions the emperor left the palace to hunt game or visit ancestral graves, roadblocks were set up along the route. The emperor sat inside one of the many carriages with all windows blacked out. No one could be sure which carriage he was in. The ancient Chinese believed an emperor's right and authority to rule came from heaven. Known as the Mandate of Heaven, each emperor was described as the Son of Heaven. If the emperor was fair and just, maintained order and governed well, then heaven approved and allowed his rule to continue. This would be reflected in nature and society, plentiful crops and happy people. If the ruler was greedy, corrupt, and had lost the trust of the people, the all-knowing forces of heaven would be angered and take away his right to rule. Heaven could show its anger in the form of natural disasters, fire, flood, famine, earthquake, or other mysterious cosmic signs. For example, when a rebellion successfully overthrew an emperor, it was seen as a proof his mandate of heaven had been withdrawn. This led to some believing they had a moral right to mount a rebellion when they felt the emperor was corrupt. Emperors didn't have to be of a noble birth, nor come from a Chinese ethnic group. Emperor Gao Zhu, the first emperor of the Han dynasty, was from a peasant family. Emperors established dynasties, a family of rulers, when the role of emperor was successfully passed down to a son or a trusted relative. 